Oh, I do feel pretty. It's Thursday. It's five o'clock. So it's time for Tony and Chelsea live. And today we have check, a very special check. guest in the studio, Samantha Shannon, professional portrait photographer. Hello, hello. So the theme today is portraits. So if you haven't already submitted your photos, you can go to sdp.io slash submit and do that now. We're going to have Chris ready. Hi, Chris. He's going to be looking Hello. through your photos and your comments and relaying your comments to us. So if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Talk to Chris and he'll read them and we can answer them. But first, let's take a minute to thank our sponsor, Squarespace, who makes all this free. Whether you need a website, domain, or, or portfolio, make your first move with Squarespace. They have beautiful designer templates. It's so easy to use. If you can drag and drop, you can make your very own Squarespace website. I have one, and Tony has three, because he's a man of excess. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme <laughs> websiting. So start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony. And if you'd like 10% off, use the coupon code Tony. If you already have a portfolio, head to sdp.io slash link during this show, and I will take a look at it midway through the show. We have some photo news today. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the photo news first or go let's, through some pictures? Let's dig into that while people are getting their pictures ready, because this is a little crazy. There are rumors afloat about a 60 megapixel 8K Sony camera. And Tony, I specifically wanted to know how you felt about this. Well, first, let me say we follow rumors very closely because it is our business and we like to prepare because we often have to be at things for launches. Um, so I, I follow this stuff every day and I have a good sense for what's real and what's not. And so does the guy at Sony alpha rumors. And he says that this rumor is very credible and I totally believe it because it is believable. Like this is an incremental update. Yeah, They're saying this is a 60 megapixel sensor, which is just like 40% more than their current 42 megapixel sensors. Um, with it can do, uh, 8K at 60P, that seems like a reach to me, but it, <laughs> it if it can do 8K at 30P, that would be great, or 4K at 60P, that would be perfect. Um, and they're saying full HD at 300 frames per second, which is like 10 times slow motion uh, for typical <laughs> YouTube videos. Do you remember going to the big, ex the Canon Expo, what was it, like four years ago? And they had the, they had the 100 megapixel camera. Yeah, and they had a bunch of 8K cameras on display. Yeah. This was several years ago. And they were like, this stuff is coming soon. And we were so excited. And then nothing happened since. This was after the 5DSR. And then no, the, the big high megapixel race completely stopped. That We've made no, we've gained no ground since the 50 megapixel 5DSR was released. And now where that thing seems it, like a dinosaur. Where will it end? But I feel like the computers aren't actually uh, updating as fast as, like, I feel like a lot of people aren't. That's upgrading to saying. this stuff like i i'm scared to upgrade even to the the d850 because i don't my computer can't handle it yeah, yeah you're shooting with a 24 megapixel d750 <laughs> yeah. and you're doing and you're making a living at it yeah and i would say 85 percent of the portrait and wedding photographers i talk to are shooting at 24 megapixels because that is enough and, and my computer's new it's not like it's an old com computer but still it's that this kind of stuff makes me nervous I'm like what, what would i need to buy yeah new that we can't buy anything faster because new computers are not faster than older computers because moore's law is dead like they're a little bit faster but they bottlenecked they're not making new improvements and so, my computer chelsea's computer they're top end and when we're dealing with these 40 megapixels files it's a pain everything is really slow but the results are fantastic yeah, I know you You don't like to shoot with low megapixel cameras. Every time we get something in a test, you're like, oh, I wish I could zoom more. <laughs> okay, but it does take some strategizing. You have to have a computer that can handle it. And I have to shoot for those pictures. So my next question was going to be, who do you think will use this? Because I might use this for almost like a medium format camera, like a portrait shoot, highly controlled, or a still life. But I'm shaky McGee over here. You put 60 <laughs> megapixels in my hand and... Every picture is going to be blurry unless my shutter speed is like one eight hundredth of a second with a 50 millimeter lens or something. Yeah, I can't picture anyone with like wildlife doing this, just like rapid firing. Like, Oh, I would love it for wildlife because you want all that crop. Like, wildlife. I'm not saying it wouldn't look beautiful, but what a hassle to deal with those. He could Most people do wouldn't it. do it, but would I would it. love it. You know me, I love to make yeah. huge prints. Like that's always my goal. Yeah. And even 60 megapixels is not enough. I want like, I, I make panoramas out of it and make gigapixels because I want everything to be perfect. And that's just like, that's my thing. Yeah. But for you, I would never suggest yeah. you do it because it would grind your whole business to a halt. <laughs> 
Yeah, Sam, that would be rough. Well, anyway. I'm curious what people think about I 60 megapixel seven sensors. Seven-month turn time for my yeah. images. I'm on it. I'm it's excited. It's been two about weeks. It. I'm still loading the files. Do you want to see the previews? <laughs> they just show them the wheel on Lightroom. <laughs> it's still turning. Let's take a look at some portraits that people sent Ooh, in. Oh, I like this. Sam, what do you think of this first portrait? I uh, I like this a lot. I her, the only thing I would say is she. I would ha not have tilted the head back so so much. I mm -hmm. think she just needs to. I, I get what they were trying to do here. It just looks like she almost has like like her neck hurts or like it's a little sore. I just think there's she. They could have just maybe pushed the shoulder back a little bit and then brought her forehead forward. I just think it looks a little like she's kind of falling back and into it versus a, a very intentional uh, kind of pose. I don't know if that makes sense, but. What about the flyaways? Would you? I would. I would not take all of them, but just I would take that one out. Yeah. Um, I like messy hair. Yeah. But it's, it's natural. Yeah. I love her natural, neutral expression. It, she, her eyes don't look dead, but she looks really relaxed and yeah, comfortable. Yeah, her expression's great. I'm going to give this a pick. I don't know what that means anymore, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I would have given it a pick. This is that. So, whoa. whoa that wasn't a portrait, though. <laughs> right away, the fact that it's cropped right at her neck makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Same. Yeah. If if you, I don't know why the picture's in there. If you take a look at the proportions, <laughs> like, look at how her eyes are kind of in the top third of the frame. And then we go here, and the eyes are almost at center, and it feels very imbalanced. But it's also a great time to, to crop. And, you know, I'll take any opportunity to crop. <laughs> uh so let's go to an eight by ten perspective and maybe just. But her hair's so great. I hate to crop it. It's like she does have great hair. Yeah, that that's true. And maybe it would be better in a square format. And this actually feels a little too tight for me. I'd like it to go down to her shoulders a little bit more. Um, you trying to peep on what what they use to what, what lights they use? Uh, yeah, they're lights, but also like the highlights are just so bright in the eyes. But I think it's a really beautiful natural expression. I think they had something under her chin, like a. One of those big reflectors, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and, and in a way, I think the light might be too soft. I think I think this is a good time to use one of your presets, Chelsea. Like, don't you feel like it needs a little bit of pop to it? Oh, are we plugging our presets? What? <laughs> Look at this. We have a preset pack. You can even get oh, you can get a hard copy that comes on an SD card if you'd like to give it as a gift, or you can just download them. And Tony's using it now. Okay, you like so that's sheep the and sheep airy. and the airy preset. And I, I actually, still might add a little more contrast to it. Oh, you I, have one that you prefer? I actually I really like the brushes. I cannot see, so I'm looking <laughs> under the mic because we're sharing. And I really like skin glow because it just adds a little, some highlight to the skin Ooh, without that. making it too bright. So you get that beautiful glowy look that you see in magazines where the skin is just kind of naturally glowing from the inside. Tony, give me a high five. That was a masterful edit and a masterful plug, and we are winning. Yes, Sam? You can go to northrop.photo. The presets are 50% off right now. Uh, mm. First thing I noticed is that the color on this is crazy. Like The first thing I noticed was that the eyes were a little bit too white. Yeah. Oh, I actually, yeah, I, I was thinking of the irises, but they look so dark and dead, right? I mean, the eye whites look like they were really whitened. Can we go to black and white? Yeah. A black and white preset? <clears throat> oh, okay. My bad. Um, which one do you think? You like the mono one? I would Too update dark. it a little bit. Sometimes I go into the landscape ones for portraits, like this one, yeah. and then a little more contrast. I think that gets rid of some of the, oh, you can't see. It gets rid of some of the color problems on this because you can see there's mm -hmm. red under her eyes and some orange color cast. And it just seems like there was a lot of different light sources in that room. Yeah, that can be really rough to work with. Oh, Sandy agrees. But I love her expression and her little hands are so cute. Yeah, it's a good shot. Oh, this is such a thoughtful portrait. Wow. Wow. Uh, I just want phone. those eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Um, I, I said it was a thoughtful portrait, and then I looked at it a little more, and now it seems like a candid shot. Like the light seems deliberate, but just yeah, the, the phone, phone kind of ruins it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Who is this? Who took you this? Vape, bro? You wow, vape? he's hot boxing his helmet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought this the the um, smoke was around the helmet. I didn't realize he was actually, you know, on fire. 
Uh, I think this is a really cool shot. I'm going to give it a pick. <laughs> I like it too. I love the use of smoke. I think it's done mostly just for effect because he's a racer. I think he jewels while he's racing <laughs> and he fell off and just landed like that. Mm -hmm. That's a thoughtful I, story, Chelsea. I actually wish you could see a little more of the boots. Like he, he if died, we could Sam. pop down a little bit more. It's tragic. Um, but great background, great lighting on the subject. Whoa. That's that have some stuff left oh, over from. He almost got me. Me too. Ooh. Okay, so we got a little balled up fist in the crook of the arm here. Yeah. Um, so you got to be careful. It's kind of awkward when you do the hand cross, actually. But good job not getting the reflection in the... Obviously, there was some... I mean, it's not terrible. They did a pretty good job avoiding a hard reflection of the light. And then the glass is shadow. Glasses are tough to work with. The shadow kind of yep. makes it awkward. And he is frowning. Yes. This is, I will pose for you, but I don't want to be here. Yeah, that's like every time Tony asks if I'll model for a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. This kind of looks like a commercial, like uh, for, I don't know. The old Gap. Navy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Old Navy. I just, she's got a little bit of a hot spot on her, the t top right kind of quadrant of her face. Yeah. yeah. I would maybe take that down. Sometimes you can just develop for the person's skin tones and then take the radial filter here. And that will expose the face the way that you wanted. And then you can raise the exposure in the rest of the picture. Sam, as a pro, would a client pay for this picture? Yeah. You think so? Some I think people the would only like thing I this. would do is just, like I said, that I would go in to, I would take this into Photoshop and I would just fix that, you know, that, that spot right under her eye. That's very, right very, here. that hot, bright spot. I think if they fixed that a bit. Um, the the book is like a double exposure, right? What's that? The bokeh balls are a double exposure. Or an overlay. Yeah. But that. you're okay? Like, clients dig that? Because I, mean, th I, I, I saw it not, and I was like, that's I would fake. not do this yeah. unless it's a client style. asked for it. Okay. Like, if this was a shot we planned, but I think mm. that's a saleable shot if it's something we already know the client wants. I would also fix her eye makeup. You can tell that she did it herself. Um. So, but that also couldn't be done you know in photoshop too. yeah just a little messy it's so hard to fix in photoshop it's easier and they would also take down that shadow that looks like she got punched in the eye a little bit on the left i would just reduce that a little too but it's great i mean i think it's creative it definitely looks like an overlay but if a client asked for that i think that i'm also bugged by this gray glove or whatever it is in the lower right corner oh i didn't even catch that yeah i would just yeah. clone that out looks like she's trying to hide us hide a scarf or something would you crop it, Tony? Crop it. Yeah, I, crop I it like crop it's it. hot. <laughs> I guess I'm also weird about like what's going on with the pose. Tony doesn't like this at all. <laughs> Tony, you started by saying no, you liked it and now I do like it. <laughs> He's looked at it too long. He's changed his mind. We're being very critical tonight, guys. It's been a long day. That's better. This is like the magazine format, which I think fits the picture. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Wait, can we I just like revisit? Yeah, you're going back? Oh. I was just going to show before and after because we did a, yeah, yeah. Just bringing in the highlights was huge. That's a, that's better for sure. There was a lot to like. I like this picture. This is a very focus? modern portrait style. I think. He's not. Oh, uh, but still. This is pictorialism, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had brought in a, a speed light and just kicked it a little bit, just a hair, and I. Yeah, I would go crazy with the colors. And I wish you were down like a foot lower. I would love it if the sun was just like closer to his shoulder. Um, but I'm going to give it a pick. It's something different. I like the style a lot. And yeah, I would definitely go artistic with it. Like you're not going to get them on technical sharpness or anything like that. Just go wild. Are you looking at me, Sam? Because I'm just like mindlessly going through. I'm like, no, this is no. so much fun. Do you do this with presets? Yes. I just go through them all. I'm like, yeah. I like it. And yeah. then I find ones that I that I just know kind of what they do. And you, you, you get to know. Yeah, you get to know. You get to know. You do. Hmm. hmm. What do you think, Sam? What's he thinking about in that bush? I'm not sure this works. Um, I'm not really sure what. The story is here, to be honest with you. It's not, if this was a, I mean, maybe this is sexist, but I mean, I feel like if this was a woman, it would, it would, with like long flowy hair, 
but I don't, but he's not really connecting with the camera. Is he looking at a bug on the ground? Is he looking at, I, I don't think it tells a story. Um, yeah, it seems like he's just waiting for something, right? Yeah. Maybe he's taking a little leak. Or he's, ta- <laughs> or he's taking a leak. <laughs> it has been a long day, hasn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. It has. Uh, oh, I like performer. this one. Oh, but- yeah, but it's not a portrait, right? It's just a street performer. I mean, you don't know it's not a portrait. Maybe they set that up there. I mean, you're probably right. It's probably a street performer. There's a mic in there. Yeah, I was going to say, if it is a portrait, then make it a little more deliberate. It's a nice, it's a nice, picture. It's a nice okay. picture. This is a portrait. Well, this one. This is a tough. Kind a of the toughie. classic pose, like grab the lapel, yeah. lean against the wall. Are her skin tones and hair tones too like mushed into the background mm. tones for y'all? It's a little green for me on the green side. And also I would have um, I would have cloned out that that little ball, that little, I don't know what those are called. Boca ball. Boca ball. Yeah, it's distracting. And Chelsea, I really think you're onto something. I think if you select the background and drop it by a stop and a half, just make it darker, and I think that would work a lot better because you're right. The brightness and the tones are all kind of mushed together. Um, I really love the radio filter. Not yeah, that's it. really useful. What happened here? No, don't do that, Lightroom, <laughs> you crazy. I was like, oh, you're going back to 1985. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right there away. There you go. That's so much better. And then maybe um, add some. It's definitely easier to do yeah. this in camera. There we uh, go. You know, you're using an on-camera flash here. It's a very small point, and that's not the most flattering light. Like the catch light in her eye is just a little tiny pinpoint, Oops. a little soft box. doesn't cost much at all, and it's pretty easy to set up and uh, would have given more flattering catch lights, more so much flattering light on the face. And if you just... The brighter you make the flash, the darker the background becomes. You can really see the green now in the jacket on the left. Yeah. The green tones. I took the greens out. Yeah, it's much better. It was a lot. The green was bouncing everywhere. There must be in front of her a very green scene. You can see there's green behind her. But my assumption is just just, uh, color casting. I've struggled with that before. When when you're in a green field or something, you get green bouncing everywhere. The whites of the eyes are green. It bounces off pale skin and the person can look sickly. What do you do when you have weird color cast, Sam? I I fix it in Photoshop, but Just I again post. because I don't I don't uh, present a lot of images to the client. It's yeah. easy for me to go in and fix it on each one. I don't. You have a great workflow. Do uh, you want to take a question from Chris? Yeah, Chris. Chris, do you have any questions up. for Samantha? Sure do. Got a question for Sam. Uh, when is when are you planning on posting another Photoshop tutorial on your on YouTube page? Oh, God. Um, Linda Ann said that she learned a lot from the first. Oh, uh, cool. Um, you know, it was something that I just was trying out to see if there was uh, an audience for, and I just need some volunteers. So volunteers that are willing to, uh, let me edit their photo with, along with them, uh, on the YouTube channel. And if you guys want to sign up and be a volunteer, I'll make more. So you can, you can send I them, send them along. Get volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> what is your Justin, YouTube do we have a channel? link for her YouTube? It's uh not not pretty well, neat, unfortunately. I'll just put it in the comments. Insta. I'll put it in the comments when we're done. I'll just, or okay. you can find it there. And this is for everybody. And I think Tony, you did a a a video on this. Has anybody used extensively the Loop Deck or one of the other products that are like it? And have you, you know, did you find it useful or not? I've yes. never used a Loop Deck. I've never. Done We've it. pretty much used all of them because I love analog things. Mm-hmm buttons and dials that are separate from the keyboard and mouse and we we liked them at first but then we found a week later we were not using any of them including the one dial on my logitech keyboard loved it at first a week later not using it Hmm. i think the keyboard is still the most efficient way to get a good workflow Uh, none of them allow you none of them completely replace your keyboard and mouse so therefore you're now you now have a tablet or a mouse a keyboard and this extra device and you're just moving around more and it actually made me less efficient. And... I never liked it at all yeah. because when I edit, I use the Wacom me tablet too, yeah. and one hand on the keyboard for shortcuts. Yeah, and that's that, my workflow too, same. That works really well for me. So the loop deck didn't make sense for me. When, I, when I first saw that, I was wondering if somebody took those some of the dials on the loop deck and built it into a keyboard so you have one device and instead of function keys you've got dials if you want to use dials or you can is use this your winter keyboard. project chris 
You gonna work on that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> go for it. I did a review of a Logitech keyboard that has one dial and it's pretty conveniently located oh, wow. next to the index finger. But at the same time, the software seemed a little unreliable. Like it didn't work. It works 80% of the time and then sometimes it would flake out. And that was enough for me to just stop using it because mm -hmm. you know if it's occasionally uh, unreliable, then it's not worth it. Justin, you use something similar like that for, for video editing. Do you still use that or did you give up on it? I So I gave up on it and then like, um, Two weeks ago, I reinstalled the whole thing and reconfigured all the macros, and it's pretty cool. I've been using it at home, and I'll oh, probably okay. bring it in uh, one of these days just because I'm here all the time. Okay, so there are reviews from several different people. <laughs> it's a Contour Shutter, Shuttle Pro version 2, I believe. I can see it'd be more useful for, for video. Yeah. yeah. This picture, does this girl look like Madeline or what? <laughs> a little bit. She does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She looks a lot like our daughter. Um, I love her expression, and it's a nice, simple portrait. Um, maybe actually she could have been like a little happier looking. What do you think, Sam? I think it's cute. We have. I, I would have maybe cropped down a little bit more, or maybe actually what Tony just did sort of fixed that. It just felt a little uneven. Unbalanced. She was a little left and looking left. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, and also. Again, this is so minor, but you know, the green casting, which could be, which is like around her mouth. If you really want to get nitpicky around oh. her mouth, under yeah. her chin. And you know, when I first started, it took me a really long time to even see that kind of stuff. I didn't see that as a beginner at all. Um, but you can see, I warmed it up a little bit and now you can see. Yeah. If you look like at the bridge of her nose, of her nose in these tones, here it's too. very green. Yep. And I'll tell you, because she has the same exact skin tone as my daughter, it it reflects everything. Yeah. No matter where you put them, they're reflecting a color. Yeah, and I don't know that I would have put her in a green shirt in a green with a green background. I think that you need something that's um, not the same color. Yeah, maybe you could change it in post too, right? Yeah, that's a, not, I mean, a, not a pain in the neck to do at all. I was going to say, <laughs> Chelsea's on to something here. Oh, okay. okay. Can I go it, into Photoshop less and less because you, make you can it just red? do so much in Lightroom. <laughs> <laughs> I probably no, you can. Do, no, it's not going to look right. We can make it purple. That already looks better. <laughs> yeah, and also now she has really good highlights. Let's I'm so just sorry we're ruining your photo. It's actually quite sweet. <laughs> it is a very good photo, Emil. <laughs> Things got a little carried away. I'm trying to go to the next photo here. Come on, Lightroom. Why would you? Okay. Young girl peeking out from behind an autumn leaf. I think I, it's really cute. I would I would crop this a lot. Yeah, maybe go vertical with I it. Yes. Bump up the colors. Yeah. Like I don't need the bridge in there at all, right? No. Yeah. The bridge isn't really Maybe the bridge is meaningful to you, but it's Let's not meaningful to 10. us. I would even take off some of the leaf, maybe. Yeah, I, I liked a deeper crop on it. What do you think? Just like deeper? Oh, I like... Okay, let's see what you're doing. I like the leading line of the, the railing, but you can do it so many different ways. Yeah. But we all want to crop it. We all want <laughs> so to crop it. So take that lesson. And I think you could also get a little creative and throw a preset on there. Yeah. You have one that I does a really nice color. thing for skin. And I believe it's the radial filter um, preset of yours. Is it that one? Can you go off of that one and back on it? Yeah, I think it's that one. Well, not maybe for this particular photo, but I've used that one several you times. You have? You like that one? I do like that one. Ooh, I kind of like yeah. the Ooh, I like the golden wash on I like that. golden wash on this one. Yeah. And then it just warmed up her skin a lot. That looks a lot better. That looks like it's properly exposed now, although I don't think you changed the exposure. If you're just tuning in, we're plugging our presets, <laughs> which you can get 50% off at Northrop.photo. We're not plugging them. It's just we're familiar with them, and we happen to have them here. So. And we're using them, and we're loving them. Uh, we'll take a look at one more picture and then oh we'll God, go to a portfolio. So that is so cute. <laughs> Can't go wrong with it. How do we critique this? It's I don't know. Really it's cute. too cute. It's so glam, though. I feel like I want to just go like full magazine cover, right? She's cute. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay. Why don't we take a question and I'll see if we have any portfolios that we can take a look at. We should look at Sam's portfolio. 
Sam she's just on have an awesome space. portfolio. She has a really good one. Then people could see her finger. Okay, I'll take a look Whoa. at Samantha's portfolio. Oh, I went to her smug mug. It was oh, saved. Good Lord, oh, no. why would you do this to me? It wasn't me? delivered. It was saved. Oh, Tony's here trying to embarrass me. <laughs> SamanthaNag.com, right? Oh, yeah. my God. That's Tony, shame. That's my old website if you want to see what not to do with okay, your Okay, that was the before, and this is the after. Ooh. Sam switched over to Squarespace, like that, and man. it looks so much better, right? That was well, not deliberate. Her pictures are a lot better, too. <laughs> She's grown, Sam. That's a good thing. Yes, growth is good. Keep 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 at it. It's the only way you'll grow. So I love Sam. You take a lot of portraits of people, and I love that you led with that. I know you do all kinds of photography, but I, do. I know from looking at your website that you have a personal project section. I do to show that you do something else. But when you first land on your page, I really love that you just have pictures of your work for clients, so I can see exactly what you've done. And it makes me want to hire you. Thanks. Oh, this is kind of old. I haven't done street photography in a while, so these are kind of old. Oh, okay. I'll stop plugging it. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at... Everything else is current, but of course, Tony went to the one piece of my site that was... At yeah. a portfolio that somebody to just sent like Yeah, man. It's autocomplete. It just completed it. <laughs> First, you remember he went to your old one? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. let's take a look at in-the-moment photography. First, I want to find out how to address this person. Okay. It's Chuck. It's Chuck. Chuck, let's get a picture of you maybe with the camera, maybe something. It looks like you're a little out of focus there. Yes, my first thing too. Get a good picture of yourself. I think if you're a photographer and you have a website, that means you're in some professional capacity. You should have a professional photo, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mine too, Sam. Yeah, we share it. Maybe yeah. partner up with another photographer and take each other's Tradies. pictures. Yeah. We do that a lot around here. Um. Okay. I've already seen this close-up picture of the dog, and then I clicked gallery. All I wanted to see was your photos. I would probably just start on this page and get rid of the opening page. Or that's it? Oh, wait. Oh, the naked cowboy. <laughs> um, Chris, that resonated with you. <laughs> Everybody knows the naked cowboy. I think there was like a, a competing naked cowboy. It was like the dueling naked yeah, cowboys. Yes, there was, or yeah. is. I really like the color on this one. Is that homemade cranberry? I'm confused about the size, and there's some little pictures, some giant pictures, some really giant pictures. Yeah, I, I'm having an issue with the template here, so maybe just go to one that puts them all in the same format so it's easier to look at. Yeah. Oh, okay, well now, well, yeah, it's working a little weirdly for us. I would definitely like take a look at the other templates because there are a lot, and some of them will work better than this definitely the other issue is you have some really beautiful pictures and some that just don't live up to that same standard and i would just get rid of the pictures that aren't as great and this one i'd say isn't because she has the light right under her onto her neck and that's not flattering so i would get rid of that one also you've got a mix of food and people maybe yeah. you separate those into different categories with nature yeah Ooh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm starving. All right. So lead with your pictures. Show us your best pictures first. Is there really a blog or is this? Uh, take a new photo of yourself. Definitely don't link to anything that doesn't have content. Um, like set up your blog once you have a few posts in there so people can scroll through stuff. I think and is there no blog? But I, I can see no, he set nothing. it up just yesterday, I think, two days ago. So just write a blog about how we reviewed your portfolio and how that made you feel and there you go oh, oh look, this every squarespace site what? has a store and he has set up a little store that's oh. so cool well thank you so much for sending in your portfolio for review uh chuck says i've gained so much knowledge in the last few weeks watching and reading stunning digital photography thank you thanks so much to tony and chelsea for the books and information squarespace seems easy to use and quick to learn leaving me more time to adventure and find the picture That's i want a good point we're photographers we're not well web developers so just get a squarespace and make it easy on yourself if you want your own awesome website go to squarespace.com slash tony you'll get a 14-day free trial no credit card required if you love it use the coupon code tony and you'll get 10 percent off Thank you for sponsoring us, Squarespace. You want more pictures or do you want to? I want to do get more questions. Chit chat. Chit chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I we also want to say Chuck mentioned Stunning Digital Photography, which is our book, and it's 50% off now, but only for the next few days. And we're signing them. Yeah, Northrop.photo. 
Thank you, Justin, for that impressive wisdom. <laughs> Anytime. And they're, it's like really Justin, them just signing them. The first time. I've, I've seen it. I've seen them sign it. They're up there signing. It's really them. <laughs> it's not like a yeah. stamp. You've seen it's the books re- all over It's our really house. them signing them. <laughs> it is really hard. It's why we only do it one time per year. <laughs> yeah, because... Back, Rob, Rob Tillis had a $20 donation, and his comment was, hey, thanks for the book, but I can't tell whose signature is whose. <laughs> <laughs> That is not fair. My my tea is very good. He After that, it totally tea. fades out. He has a very distinctive tea. Tony took a picture of my signature and sent it to me and said, I'm afraid you've had a stroke. <laughs> so that's pretty much what my signature looks like. I only give Chelsea like 20 books at a time to sign because if it's more than that, the last few books look really bad. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad giving them to customers. I've never had good penmanship, but ever like since. a sign of an artist. Thank you, Sam. I hope that's true. <laughs> but it's gotten even worse ever since I started typing. And oh, now yeah, because we to... don't write. Who, who writes anymore? I know. Yeah. Now I, know I how to use a pen. A pen. I'm a like, pen. what is it? Yeah. Okay. My wife, always, my wife always says she can tell who went to Catholic school because of their handwriting. <laughs> oh. It's always just beautiful. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I did and not either. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it looks like I went to a writing school for doctors, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's jump in the chit chat. Our first one is from Jude K. And he said, I skipped school because of this podcast. That is completely unnecessary. And don't <laughs> yeah. you blame us on your poor education. You can go to school. I mean, I feel a little better because our podcast is educational at times. Yeah. But I think you should just go to school, Jude. Yeah, Thank it's like you, 20 minutes but... a week. You could listen to it on the bus. Yeah. Jude, <laughs> what are you to doing? Listen you walk to school. <laughs> That's right. It's, just, it's mobile. It's a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I do appreciate like his loyalty, but watching a good education. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading it. This person said, look at how juiced your arm is at 57 seconds with color correction. Thanks for trying to mislead my purchases. This will trick doctors. Nice work, peasant. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> People are ma- mad. They're mad, and then they come into my life mad. <laughs> Ivan said, somehow Chelsea's skin looks yellow. Is your liver okay? Hmm. We get a lot of diagnoses <laughs> on a regular basis. Yeah. Some from doctors, medical doctors, some from psychologists who seem to think our relationship medical is in doctors, shambles. I mean, like. Yeah, it's self appointed, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, are you okay, Chelsea? Is your no, liver okay? Oh. Definitely not. You're going to scare people. I have, I'm jaundice. <laughs> I'm <laughs> no, jaundice. our lighting was off, and then, you know, we get all sorts of comments. <laughs> Fun. Sam, you found this one. Beavers are jerks. <laughs> Damn, Damn, Tony. Tony. <laughs> we got puns. I, know I agree like with puns. the first part, but I will never approve of a pun. <laughs> Inappropriate. I made you. I made him laugh with puns. <laughs> I, this is just. It was supposed to be one, but then every comment was just so much. Chelsea's voice is so velvety, very soothing. Are you two having a marital spat? (laughs) Chelsea seems politely uncooperative. Don't really care for reviews, but I always found you guys entertaining. (laughs) That was just that last week's live show. Oh, I love the term politely uncooperative. (laughs) That is basically... It's like a very nice insult. Yeah, but that pretty much summarizes my whole personality. (laughs) Yeah, it's that British part of you. Politely uncooperative. Yeah, I'm here to stay. And then Gary said, favorite video yet. Well, not really, but still great. It's like, I just can't win. I almost got up there with Gary. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, You should do a series um, called Thank You with a question mark. Because there's a celebrity that does it. And every time he gets like an an insulting but kind inbox message, he posts it. And he's like, thank you. Like, you're really good looking, except for that thing on your face. And he's like, thank you. So you just find all the ones that are like horrible comments. Like nice Insults. Like a backhanded a compliment. A backhanded compliment. Yeah. Today on Thank You. <laughs> what the clickbait guy means is, damn, I was ready to get my family killed by swans. Now you guys inspired me so much, I have to quit quitting. I love the chit-chat part. It's where the heart excels the brain. <laughs> frog. We inspired frog. I said a swan killed my family. I think that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Whew. I love chit-chat. It just lets everyone know... What's happening to me all the time? <laughs> all this stuff here. I'm going to import some fresh pictures, but first I wanted to look through and see if anything really struck me. And what about this secret like, service? Dapper secret service. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's even got, has his mic like tucked backwards because he's not using it right now. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Whoa, um, look at that scary one with, with Harley the... Quinn. Oh, that one. I really wish we could see the rest of his face, actually. I yeah, really I guess these the must be left over from Halloween. I really like this one. <laughs> She's so cool. I'm going to give that one a pick. <laughs> Rotten on the side of her face. Ooh, I like that one. It's like a book cover. I'd like that one. They got some, they're using some gels, I think, yeah. too. I yeah, like this one gels. gets a pick, too. That's good color cast. Yeah. Those are the colors nice you want. Right. Ooh, I like the... the. What's the catching shot? your eye, Sam? Oh, I didn't see that one I was looking at. The dancing in the woods that kind of looks like siobhan yeah it, it looks does. a lot like siobhan yeah <laughs> it does i like all the colors they get creative with it yeah all the comments now where's siobhan all where's siobhan yeah where's siobhan we just where's had dinner siobhan? with siobhan we're like friends and stuff she doesn't work for us anymore but oh i kind of like that yeah great Ooh, leading lines right that's Wait, awesome Good way to attitude. use a corner yeah i don't like the thumbs though i don't mind it i would uh, not smooth her face so much her face is already beautiful don't smooth it. Yeah. I feel like I don't like that her, I don't mind the thumbs, but I don't like that she's so aggressive with it. Yeah. These darn pants. Yeah. yeah. I think if she's going to do it, maybe, yeah, slightly. But great choice of backgrounds. That's a really cool yeah. spot and a pose that kind of matched it. You really worked that background. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a pop cap gun, like a plastic. I mean, am I right? Or is yeah, it real? Yeah. No, Great, is. Tony. Now Sorry. you're going to trigger the Europeans. <laughs> I don't know anything about guns. Europeans always get so mad. All of Europe just had a heart attack. We're an unreasonably violent culture. I think my phone culture. just buzzed. I just got reported. <laughs> well, let's see what else we have. Yeah, they're okay. They have page six, but yeah, you show a plastic gun and they're all going to freak out. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, we can do some skipping what through. What in the we only world? Have... What? Yeah. What? I don't, don't. Yeah, we don't need to. What in the world? What do you mean? Wait, go to the next one after that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ooh. That's so scary. Yeah, it's definitely striking. <laughs> Does she have a cataract? Oh, gosh. Now, no, I it think like it's a, just a, a light. I think it's a black light thing. on half. Oh, a black, oh. light. black light on half and like a. I think you're right. Okay. I never would have identified that. Oh, look at this. Which of this one? Yeah. That looks really artistic and pretty. Whoa. Yeah, that looks this is beautiful. Fantastic. It's like cross with some still life. With a, I don't know, not still life, but maybe. She, she looks a little stiff to me. That's my only criticism. Maybe she's supposed to be like wooden or something. Yeah, she looks like a doll. Yeah. Yeah, there's something imbalanced. She seems like she's going to fall backwards. Mm -hmm. um, I because like I think she's sitting in a chair with arms, but we can't really see it. But you're right. I like the weirdness of it. I love the leaves. Right away, I, I love the picture. Yeah. Uh, I would also, maybe there are some seams in the, the skirt that need to be cloned out just so they're not distracting. Is that a seam? No, it's just like a little wrinkly. I would have uh, pulled fabric. her off the backdrop a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, it's very in focus. Now, so a very wow photo, and now we're getting a little yeah. critical. Now we're getting into it. Now we're getting into it. Uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a great shot, though. You did a really good job with it. Okay, let's get out of here. I saw one. I like this one. I love her expression. I think it's like a very modern-looking picture. I don't know. Yeah, I but... think go to 8x10 and crop the top off, and it's good for Instagram. Yes, I agree with you, Tony, on that. I, I don't know. Oh, you're breaking out the presets again, <clears throat> Charles. There's something I don't. I can't put my finger on. There's something that's bugging me about it a little bit. Oh, you know what's okay. So this part of her hand, I don't love that that it, this part of the hand is coming at the camera. I think she needs to turn her wrist a little bit. It's just really t drawing in a lot of attention. It's um, mm. that that forearm and and the hand falling back. I usually try and tell people to not push the hand out towards yeah. the camera. Like if you're going to do that, do it sideways or go in or, or flip it the other or yeah, try and straighten it. it I don't know. I, there's something that's bothering me about that. You're really good about managing those things. We, we had our portrait shot recently and we picked Sam to do it. And you are very aware of like hands and poses <laughs> and stuff. Whereas other portrait photographers all the time, like completely miss those things. Hands are difficult yeah, and they're so hard. expressive. They communicate so much. So you have to be very careful with them. I don't like the Santa picture. A little scary for me. Where? Oh, up there. 
Anything catching your eye, folks? Um, the clown, that silly clown, even though it was kind of goofy, was kind of interesting. I'm just curious. Uh, it's not, it doesn't look like it's. I think this is well done. I do too. I just can't tell. And oh, we can't go one to one, or we already are. I just wanted to see. Yeah, it's, I think it's a low, a low res. Shot. I think it's quite well done. I think it it almost isn't in focus. Like maybe it is. Yeah, that was three to one. I um, almost wish this had a harsher shot, like harder shadows with that brightness. I feel like there's not enough. Like I feel like almost the light would, if it, the light was pushed more to the side instead of straight on, it would have been more drastic. Side more lighting. drastic side lighting. But then it wouldn't have been more spooky. But I think I would have made it that way. Yeah, because aren't clowns kind of spooky? Yeah, and that's fun? kind. They're kind of creepy. I like that one. I like the. Clown. I did too. I like it. I'm looking for pictures that I think you could sell to a client. Okay. okay. Well, let's see. I can't really see very well. Um, no. Yeah. Unless it's a hair commercial. <laughs> um. This looks like what about senior that photo. One? Yeah, I was thinking a senior photo. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a that's sellable. Beautiful. That's a beautiful sellable image. Yep. A little overdone on the skin. And I mean, unless she just had the most amazing skin, but it looks like maybe um, frequency separation was used yeah, a little too heavily. Because it's got like that texture, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the texture is too much. And I would fix the yellow cast on her arm. That's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were so good at spotting the color. Uh, I would also frame it back a little bit. Yes. Like the space above her head is less than the space below yeah. her arms. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would have to just do the arm, so I'm not going to get into that. But it's a really beautiful photo. I, yeah, I think that's a, a saleable image. Just the skin is a little bit, needs a little bit of fixing. That was from frequency separation? You I were believe saying? so. Chelsea, what do you think? I think so, too. That's when you get that very consistent texture. Yeah. It's still textured, but it's really consistent. You can kind of take things a little over the top. That's saleable, too. Wow. Uh, I would... She just needs catch lights. So whether you add them manually or you brighten them up. Yeah. Otherwise, um, that kind of adding catch lights adds the life. Yeah. Otherwise, you get those dead shark eyes. Yeah. You want to do that while Chris reads us another question? If I can. Yeah. You got anything for us, Chris? You betcha. What would be your preference for portraits? A collapsible beauty dish or a collapsible octobox? For who's that for? whoever wants to answer it <laughs> i don't have a lot of experience with beauty dishes i know you guys use them and i um 90 of the time i'm using octoboxes um so i love my octobox i've actually my octobox has a built-in it's a fake beauty dish it's like an attachment that goes in it that kind of helps with the the hot spots on the face but uh, beauty dish is on my wish list i don't own one as of right now but chelsea i know you do um, I like the beauty dish. I've been using a big soft box. Yeah. Lately. I'll say we found almost no perceived difference between the beauty dish and the soft box and like side by side shots. It can be very hard to tell the difference. Oh, that's good to know. Um, but it's, it's anytime you look at a comparison, you'll see some difference because the size of the light source might be different. The distance might be different. Yeah. And then people immediately think, oh, that's the difference. Yeah. But when we did it in a controlled way, like you just, you just could not see the difference. So to me, the biggest difference between a beauty dish and a soft box is more convenient. Like the beauty dishes, well, he's talking about a collapsible beauty dish versus a soft box. And I, I don't even know what the difference would oh, be. Oh yeah, collapsible. If they were the same size, the beauty dish might uh, have a reflector in the middle that sort of bounce the light out yeah. a little bit and change mm. the distribution of light, but you're not going to see a huge difference at all. And I would probably just pick the one that was that's more easy to use. Yeah, or that you already have, like me. Otherwise, you'll end up with that gas, that gear acquisition syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and tied in with that, how do you choose? Is bigger always better, or is there a depending on how do you choose the size of the octobox or the softbox? I mean, you're use. Bigger is kind of usually better. It's well, it depends if you want soft light. What what do you, it depends on what you're shooting. Do you want a dramatic shot? Then no, it's not going to be better. You want smaller light. It's more about direct. working distance too, yeah. right? A big light that's far away is the same as the small light that's mm -hmm. up close. So if you have a small light, you can get close, but then that kind of limits your composition, and you don't mm -hmm. always want to light right next to the person. Yeah. Uh, so 
I mean, and, and if you're in the field, a big light will oh, catch right. the wind mm -hmm. and the whole yeah. thing will fall right over. Been so there. small lights are almost always more convenient when yeah. you have to go somewhere. But yeah, then you get close. 27 inch, I think, is my my uh, Octo that I have out there. And, you know, I don't use it conventionally because I need it to. Sometimes I'll bounce it into a reflector to make it bigger, to make the light bigger. Mm -hmm. But I have help. So I'm not out there. Yeah, by myself. you have an assistant. Um, back to this photo, I added the catch light to the eyes and you can see the difference. Oh, that looks so much better. And I used my skin glow brush because I'm addicted to that. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it just puts a little twinkle in her eye. She looks way more alive and happier. Yeah. I yeah, think that's that made a, a huge difference. Yeah, it's a 100% saleable image for sure. Good, good job, whoever did that. <laughs> yeah. I like this. Work, this is Chelsea. a saleable image. Which one? This one here. The I don't I don't necessarily oh, love the hands, but but it's a good quality image. The skin, skin is green. The skin is yep. It's very green. And it's too left for me. Like yeah. I think I'd like it better. Well, see, if I, it were I you know what's funny right. when I see things like that commercial for Im commercial images, I'm always thinking about the marketing and where words might go. And so sometimes they want stuff that's a little tilted off kilter because they want to add stuff but no yeah. you're right it is a little left but i don't mind it and and you're right that you have to think about the final format yeah and often you are working around a designer's requirements I, but I, I think the level of their work though is quite is uh is saleable if we're looking at it from that point um i feel like it's got too much sharpening or something well it feels over sharpened to me it does feel sharp very there's sharp. a lot of texture yeah, yeah. And I don't feel like that's oh, we, in her we're, skin. Uh, that was in one to one. Yeah. So you can see her skin tone looks so much better now. It looks like a, a yellow green in the before, and now it's just more warm skin tones. I don't mind it. I I uh I think you could sell this image. Yeah, I think it's nice. I like her expression. I like the colors. Okay. The hands. This is a yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's a great picture. Until but... you get that. The floating hand. Oh, and it's, not straight on. Don't do that straight on. It's very Morticia. And also, can I say, a very square pose like this is so... Hello. Mm, it's so formal. <laughs> if you had turned her... Yeah. So you have like this. If you had even just turned her, then suddenly it's much less direct, right? Yeah. I wouldn't do straight. I try not to, to photograph women too often straight on. Not every woman could pull it off. She has the face to pull it off. But that, you kind of, it's kind of ruined with the... Uh, the arm, cross. the arm cross. But her expression's nice. Yeah, she's she has got a, a relaxed, face. relaxed fix. She's got to add a little lip. Like her lipstick is like about to be off. But what about um? What's going on with the eyes? Enhance. Oh, maybe that's <laughs> just. Is, wait, this is not Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you don't know my life, Sam. Okay, I think that's just actually the catch light. It looked added or something. Look, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Three lights. I don't. Th I think there's something reflecting up, because okay. it doesn't. Because look, there's light coming in from up above. Yeah. I mean, okay. from down below. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you can see the shadow of her nose is actually up, up, into, up. Oh, yeah. it's, it's actually up, up and to the left. So the lighting, I think, could actually be up a little higher. Yeah. Agree. Who this? A little hot, right? It's a little hot. Yeah. That's not now. It's not right. No, because it, it needs some not light be from the front. Rescuing it, but it looks like they side lit. Got a racer nose. But two sides without a front. <laughs> yeah, it's two sides without a front. Two sides without a front is what I think they did here to try and. And that's why you have the shadow right on the forehead. Yeah. It's what you do for like a professional athlete. Right. <clears throat> and you wanted a dramatic pose, but that's like. That's the cutest nice dog, though. Loaf. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> and you know what? That dog, I think, was a. Uh, a softy. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a tolling, an Anatolian, like tolling. Someone in the comments, help me. It's a, it's a tolling. Oh, I'll think of it. Oh, I like the colors. It's a very like, rare breed. The simple black and white styling in this, I think is really nice. I actually think this would look nice in black and white. Yeah, I like the shot too. And his hair is magnificent. Isn't what it? What about your yeah. presets, Chelsea? Let's try one. Oh, man. Anatolian. You have presets? <laughs> oh, I like that. You like this one? Or this one? I kind of like the... Well, it depends on Let's what the it. image is for, but I kind of like the I dramatic. Like Chelsea, Justin just told me that 
if people like your presets, they could get them at Northrop.photo for 50% off. I don't know. I haven't heard. I heard that rumor. That's where I got it, mine. There is this. I got mine there. You guys are cool. <laughs> Look at my signature on that one. That must have been at the end of the pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got really loopy with that one. Oh, what'd you see? You got um, excited. Ooh, 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 I love, I love this too. Oh, wait, okay. wait a minute. The file's really small or something, but the styling, the expression, yeah, the I love cool it. eyebrows. It's perfect. Yeah. It makes me think of the movie Taxi Driver for it some makes reason. Makes me think of Lilu. Lilu. <laughs> Multipath. <laughs> Multipath. Lilu. <laughs> That's my I, nerd side coming out. <laughs> I like the shot a lot. I like the kind of low contrast look. I feel like her skin tone is the same tone as the background. Yeah. And that's mm. competing. Yeah, maybe drop the brightness. There was your radio filter, Chelsea. Yay. You guys are really supportive today. <laughs> today. You said you had a rough day, so we wanted to be nice. It wasn't that it wasn't that rough. <laughs> Hold on, let me just do a radio filter. Throw that puppy on there. You're in the wrong spot. You gotta move it. Oh, that looks better. I kind of like the oval where you're leaving the dark, a little bit of dark around her. I actually do that in Photoshop where I will actually darken the outer edges of a face. Yeah. yeah. And it adds like some drama, some drama. Yeah, I get that sort of simulating a deeper light fall yep, off. Yep. Oh. Oh, we brought the drama, Sam. <sighs> I like it. There was a 1920s like Maybe it was the 20s, like a 50, this up here, Amelia Earhart up there. Oh, oh okay. wow. Ooh, I that's love cute. it. That's, you know what? That's clearly, to me, it looks like just hot sunlight, but that's, a, I don't, I think that's great. To, right? That's sunlight. Yeah. yeah, that's a good shot. I'll give that one a pick. I have seen, I'm seeing so many great pictures that I, I want to go to, but my mouse won't let me. <laughs> hey, Sam. Yeah. Kyle Jackson said that dog was a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. Yes, thank you, duck tolling. Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, I feel much so much better. You had some of the right sounds. <sighs> I love this one oh, through okay. the window. That's right. Yeah, you get a pick, Luca. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Her, I really like that a lot. I I feel like that would look better. And oh, and I hate to say it because there's so much prettiness, but there's so much green in the upper part of her skin. I would either darken it down or make that black and white. Ooh. Yeah. I think both work. Yeah. But, but I think this is a really awesome shot. Yeah, her skin is very green. Dare I say it? Maybe the best shot of the night. I think I this is Appreciate great. Luca. There's some good uh, yeah, I don't, options there for... Ooh. I don't hate the extra pop in it. I like the metal flowers, I guys. I like bit, that. But... I like that. I would just take the reds down like yeah. a yeah, teeny it's, bit. It's a little too much now, but... Oh, go down. Ooh, oh, no, that, that one. This one. Oh, this one? which one? We're fighting. <laughs> Take it, Chelsea. That one. I like 17 when you're done we'll with that We'll go back. <clears throat> I like the colors in this one and the styling. I think that she looks kind of badass with her one little streaky uh, gray thing. Yes. It makes me feel less um, less terrible that I'm graying. Yes, a shock of gray. <laughs> a shock Justin. of gray. My whole, my whole crown is shocking gray. <laughs> You like this one, Sam? I like this one. Yeah, I do too. It's definitely dramatic. I feel like, is it real though? Like, I feel like, is, this, any a of us? is this a composition? It almost looks like a background. Right? It looks yeah. like a comp, yeah, like a comp, comp like a composition, like a composite, I meant to say. Do the night colors one. Yeah, right? It needs a little more contrast to it. You know, or could, I think maybe they just brought in a, a light and I don't, I just don't see her, sh oh, there's her shadow. Yeah, is I, it? I think it's real. I don't. I, think I, it's I just, just wow. Yeah, I think it's just so, so heavily lit that it's easy to make it look. Fake. I still like it a lot. I'm not digging, uh, dogging on your image. I like it a lot. I, I will like say, oh, I think like the magazine. light source is yeah. too big. Like it needs some light on her leg too. Ah, that all the was lights the one. up top. Mm -hmm. You need like a strip light for some for a full body shot like this. I like it. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of here. Oh my gosh, we were oh, just having so much so fun. Fast. Yeah, maybe Chris, we should you take have another question? question from Chris. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tony, have you ever heard if either Nikon or Sony or Canon have any plans to implement like Sigma and Tamron have their USB docks to fine tune lenses? Is there any reason that they don't do that, or is it because they've they've got things so locked down? 
Well, right now you can do it all through the camera. So they can update firmware depending on the camera body. They can update the firmware for the lenses by just attaching it to the camera. So basically the way they're working it is the camera becomes the USB dock and you don't need a separate yeah. device. And I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't actually like the way Sigma and Tamron do it. I hate having to buy this separate device yeah. and mm-hmm. keep track of it. But of course they don't control the body, so. Yeah. I didn't realize that they, they did that, that. They updated the lenses through the body. That's Ooh. that's good to know. Yeah, when they do need updates. I don't know yeah. if Canon and Nikon do it in their DSLRs, but I know Sony does it with the E-mount, and I suspect... I've updated Canon my my lenses through oh. my camera before. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sam mm-hmm. says she does with her D750. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you download it to your computer, and then... I don't know how it works. I don't remember. The real question is why the camera has Wi-Fi. Why can't I just get it from the internet and do it automatically like every other device in my life instead of these terrible procedures? Or at uh, least uh, use an SD card Sony, please. <laughs> yeah. Updates are a big problem for us. We have a lot of feelings about it. Well, this is good. I feel like, you know, I'm always like deleting people's posts and making people angry in the group. And today I was doing something like... My job. <laughs> yeah. Now it's Happy you, Chris. and fun and saying nice things about pictures. Yeah, that was fun. Those were great pictures, too. Thank and you. we're glad to have you on and showcase you as a photographer and a yes. talent. Because Thank you're you. our friend, too, and that's why you help us out with the screening. But you're also an extremely talented Thank you portrait very much. photographer. Somebody who's making a living, which is hard to do. It's my full-time gig, man. Yeah, you do an amazing job at it, too. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for coming on, and thank you, Chris, for screening everything, and thank you, Justin, for making all my the pleasure. Sure, stuff work. Sure. And we will see you, I guess, next week on Thursday. We haven't been great at planning out the live shows <laughs> because we've been a little bit busy, but next week we should be here, and the theme will be. <laughs> Are you Quick, making throw... it up right now? Throw, yeah, throw making coin. it up right now. What should it be? How about? Uh... Like black, wildlife. no, uh, black, black and white. That's a we good one. In a while, black okay. and white. What, What'd you say, Chris? He said wildlife. Wildlife. Wildlife's Forbes. the good one. All right, we'll do we'll do wildlife. Okay, we'll yeah, see if we can I get. I think that was more popular than black and white. Yeah, and thank you, Squarespace, for making this show possible. If you'd like a free trial today, no credit card needed. Go to squarespace.com/tony. And when your trial's up, if you decide you want to keep it and you love it, use the coupon code Tony to get ten percent off. Thanks, Squarespace. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you in a week. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> that is all. Bye, Tigar. That is all. That is all.